that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hello there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. Today, I'm very excited to be checking out Yahtzee Texas Hold'em from Parker Bros. This is for age, it says adult, for two to six players. It'll take about 30 minutes to an hour to play. And in Yahtzee Texas Hold'em, you are going to be playing Texas Hold'em. But with dice. And there's Yahtzee's. That's it. Let's, let's check it out. You still here? Yeah, okay, we can check it out. All right, then, we're going to take a look at Yahtzee Texas Hold'em on our grip mat, which turns every game into a space game. So first and foremost, we got our handy-dandy rule sheet. It is eight pages, double-sided, full color, and have you up and running in no time at all. In fact, uh, it's very short and simple. In fact, this page right here, you're, actually, you're supposed to cut out and put on the board so everyone can see exactly which hands are going to beat other hands. So it's really six pages, double-sided. And if you've ever played Texas Hold'em, you will be instantly familiar with how this game is played. So we're going to go over the components, and then we'll get into the gameplay. So first, everyone is going to get a dice cup. This is where you're going to be keeping your dice secret. You're going to get six of them because, well, there's plays up to six. And for this example, we really only need, uh, well, we'll just do two. We'll say it's heads up poker. Next, you're going to get this bag, and it's going to be full of dice, dice, and more dice. And there's going to be four colors of dice. You're going to get red dice, yellow dice, black dice, and uh, whitish dice. And you're going to put those in the bag, and we will get to those in a minute. Next, you're going to get poker chips, and they're going to be in 50, 10, and 100 increments. They are pretty thick, pretty sturdy, uh, not too bad at all. I think they're actually used in head-to-head -head poker. I could be wrong, though, but they're pretty serviceable poker chips. Uh, and, you know, obviously when you start the game, you're going to give the same number to each player, and uh, then you are ready to rock and roll. If you want a handicap, you can obviously give one player more poker chips. So, when you start the game off, one person is going to be the dealer for that round, and they are going to hand secretly two dice into each player's cup without looking at it. So, each player is going to get two dice. These are going to be the cards in your hand. You're going to shake it up, you're going to flip it over, and you're going to see what's in your hand. So, this guy right now, he has a black four and a red three. This player over here, he's going to flip his over. Look at his. He's got a yellow one and a yellow four. Now, there is, before we get started, I do want to point out the difference between this and regular Texas Hold'em, because other than that, it's very, very much the same. Uh, so, these are the hands that can potentially win you stuff. Obviously, they, they assume that you know a pair and a high and that sort of stuff. So, there's two pair three of a kind, full house, straight. Now that looks weird, because normally full house would be should be up here, but in this, it's a lot easier to get a full house, because obviously you're dealing with only six uh, six faces on the die, as opposed to in a standard you know poker deck, you're dealing with thir 13 faces. So it goes full house, then straight, which means you need to get uh, all five of them in a row, uh, four of a kind, a flush, a Yahtzee, which means you get five of a kind, a straight flush, and then a Yahtzee flush, which means uh, that they're all the same number and they're all the same color. And, and these we have in front of you, it's pretty self-explanatory. So when you start the game, you're going to ante up if you want to play the ante style. So each player is going to put 10 chips in the middle of the table. Then you're going to take a look at the die that you have and decide if you would like to bet. So you'd say, all right, this guy's not going to bet. He doesn't have the greatest hand, even though he could potentially get a straight. This guy over here, he's feeling gutsy. He's like, all right, I think I'm going to get a flush, which means you have all, you have five of the same color. And he's going to bet, yeah, he'll say bet, he bets 20. So he's going to bet 20. So now this guy has to either fold, which means this guy wins all the money, or he's got two calls. So we're just going to pretend he's calling, because if we didn't, that would be a pretty terrible and short play example. So... He's calling all this money. He's now in the middle. And then whoever's the dealer is going to randomly draw three dice out of there and roll them up onto the table. So we have a black two, a, uh, a black five, and a white one. So we'll take a look at this guy. What's he got going on here? He's got a pair of ones. That's not really good. Also, he's not going to be able to complete his flush he was hoping to do and have five colors of the same color. So he's really not in the best position at this point. Um, so the action would be on this guy because he had the action first last time. Now he, on the other hand, is in a very good position because he already has a straight. He has one, two, three, four, five. Because in uh, Texas Hold'em Poker and in Yahtzee Texas Hold'em Dice, whatever they're calling it, um, you're going to be able to use 
all of the dice in the middle plus your two dice. And likewise, your opponent is going to be able to do the same thing. So you're both going to have these as dice that you can use. So he might get tricky right now, and he might try and check and lure this guy into betting. And since he bet 20 last time, he might be like, all right, I'm going to see if I can scare this guy out of the pot, and he'll bet another 50. This guy will be happy to string him along, because as we mentioned, a, uh, a, f a straight is, is it's decent. Uh, and there's no, there's no matchings right here. So what's going to happen next is the dealer is going to reveal another dice and shove, uh, and... Um, Roll it, and he has a white six. So now we have one, two, five, six. So this guy now has, you know, he's still got his straight, but he might be starting to get scared because, you know, now there's two of black, two of white. He might be worried that this guy potentially has a flush draw, so he might bet 100, at which point this guy would probably fold because right now he has absolutely nothing except for a pair of ones, and that would be the end of the hand. But we're, we're, we're going to pretend that he does call because he's not the smartest at poker. So he puts down his 100 from his pile of chips. Obviously, I don't have the piles of chips set up. And then you're going to go to the river, which is the fifth dice. It's black. We roll it up. And we have a 4, which means this guy is going to have a straight whenever he decides to reveal it. This other guy got pretty lucky. He now has two pair. So... They don't know what their opponents have, obviously, so let's take a look at here. He has two pair, which is down at the bottom. This guy has a straight, which is right there, which means he would be the winner of this round, which is where the betting comes into play, because this guy might bet big, he might say 100, but then this guy might just bet 500 and go crazy, and he might scare him into folding, or that's all about the strategy of poker, though, which I'm not going to get into. But needless to say, you continue to do this, continue to having the dealer go around, giving everybody two dice, uh, seeing who wins hands, gaining money, and just, in general, playing regular Texas Hold'em, but with dice. And whoever is able to win all of the chips at the table is going to be the winner of Yahtzee Texas Hold'em. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. Ogery dokery, Yahtzee Texas Hold'em from the pocket bras. Uh, what are my final thoughts? Let's go to the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the pros side, never a good thing. This does simulate Texas Hold'em Poker. It really does. Uh, I opened it up and I was expecting to have to learn different rules or different things like that. But no, there's very minor things that you have to learn. So needless to say, if someone knows how to play poker, or Texas Hold'em Poker in particular, this is going to be very simple to teach someone. It's very simple to learn. And it does recreate Texas Hold'em Poker. I mean, it feels like you're playing a game of poker, but with dice. Um, so that's that's a pro. They they did what they set out for. Also, component wise, the bag's nice, the dice are nice, the, the, the little cups are nice. Uh, component wise, everything in here is pretty nice. Also, this game is is really really cheap. I'm pretty sure you could find it at a thrift shop or a Goodwill or anything like that for dirt cheap, which is always a good thing. Uh, last but not least, it has gambling in it, which I love gambling. I, I really do. It adds just an extra level of tenseness to a game. I feel, especially when, when someone can, you know, when they might, they're bluffing. It has bluffing and gambling, which is something I absolutely adore. Uh, there's a little fun fact about me. I used to love playing poker. I loved it. I used to play three to five nights a week. I, in fact, went to Las Vegas specifically to play poker. Well, we'll obviously get drunk. So, Yahtzee, Texas, hold them. It's a slam dunk, right? No. Um... No, I, I did not like this game. Well, I, I didn't hate this game, but it definitely is not a game I will ever, ever suggest playing. It's not a game that I'm going to keep. And if there's people playing it, I would probably just rather play regular poker with them and just keep the poker chips around. Uh, but why did I not enjoy this game? There's a couple of reasons. The first main one is I don't know why this game exists. I don't understand it at all. I'm just assuming they were trying to cash in on the Texas Hold'em popularity. That's the only reason I can think. Because, yes, this game does recreate Texas Hold'em poker, but with dice. But here's the problem with that. People who really enjoy Texas Hold'em are going to get ticked off because everything's changed when you go from having six possible results uh, from 13. Which makes the game a lot less strategic, in my personal opinion. And that's one thing I like about Texas Hold'em, is the gambling and the bluffing and all that di sort of different stuff. And when you take away seven suits, or seven results, as uh, essentially, that's going to make the game worse. I think I would like this game a lot better if these were like 10 or 12 sided die. Um, so that's one con I had with it. Also, another con I had with it is it only plays six players. Which is annoying. Uh, because... You can play a regular game of Texas Hold'em with 9 or 10 players. 
uh, so be, only being able to play six, and I'm pretty sure they did it because they made, went with these big cups. If they would have went with smaller cups, they could have probably fit more cups in there, and then they would have done that. Because that's the only conceivable reason why I, why they didn't make this a larger playable game, so say nine, ten players, which would have added a little extra, you know, get up and go to this game. Uh, also, if you don't like Texas Hold'em, you're not going to like this game. Which, which brings me to, back to that main point. So people who really like Texas Hold'em, I don't think they're going to like this game because they probably just rather play Texas Hold'em than this game. And people who don't like Texas Hold'em are not going to want to play this game because it's exactly like Texas Hold'em. So, I have no freaking idea why this game exists. It's not a game that I'm going to keep. I will be getting rid of this game. It's not a game that I can recommend to anyone. Just period. Uh, you know, it does have poker chips, which is nice, and it has cups, which is nice, and dice, which are nice. Uh, but other than that, this game is just... Bleh. Oh, the last con I have. It's really annoying the fact that the, that the hands, the, the powers of the different hands has changed. Which is necessary, obviously, because having only six as opposed to 13 possible outcomes. But, but it's just annoying, and I ran into the situation like two or three times, even though I stressed. It was like, this is bigger than this now. The full house is weak. Full house is weak. And I keep saying that over and over again, but it happened inevitably two or three times where someone said, no, I got a full house. And I'm like, no, oh, that's so stupid. I hate that. I wouldn't have bet like this if we would have done that. And blah, 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 blah. And I just don't like it. Overall, Yahtzee, Texas, hold them. Not a big fan of it. So, in the comments below, let me know, do you like poker? I personally love poker. If you do like poker, what is your favorite hand? Do you have a favorite hand that you just are kind of superstitious about? For me personally, it is 6-9 suited. 6-9 of hearts. Ha 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 ha. Call it afternoon delight. But whenever I get that, I always call, assuming someone doesn't raise crazy high numbers. Uh, but do you like poker or Texas Hold'em poker in particular? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for Yahtzee Texas Hold'em. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.